this may be a good time to work on the tail servo and what I'm going to do is um, you know make this a little bigger so it's easier to see now here on the uh, computer I already uh, uh, centered the uh, rudder servo as you can see negative 20 was uh, the, the number that worked out uh, well for me but we can uh, uh, just play around with it so I will click on the sub trim uh, tab and as you can see here uh, I can actually uh, change the uh, servo uh, arm uh, a center position okay see as you can see the uh, the servo moves as I, as I move this uh, slider around all right so but we are going to leave it at the negative 20 just because you know this is basically the, the center uh, position and that uh, I determined earlier uh, now you can eyeball this uh, and it works uh, well uh, uh, you can use more sophisticated tools for uh, centering uh, the, the servo arms. Uh, the, the one that comes to mind is uh, Richard Lohr's uh, servo arm centering uh, tool, uh, which is, I believe, made out of uh, uh, acrylic. Um, and you can go on, on his website, you know, to, to purchase it. A uh, good guy, by the way. And uh, uh, so the next thing, so we already have the uh, servo center, so we don't need this uh, sub trim part anymore. So we'll, we'll we'll click out of that. Now, how did I figure that we needed to reverse the servo? Well, um, so I will uh, I'll show you. Um, I'm going to uh, back out of, uh, of this. Uh, so here you can see my um, uh, transmitter, right? So generally, when you uh, 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 turn the transmitter uh, stick to the to the right you want the uh, servo arm to turn towards uh, the front of the helicopter okay so again uh, and then to left will be towards the boom right towards the uh, front and again left towards the boom uh, that's usually uh, how these uh, uh, helicopters uh, are designed and so you can see here if I uh, uh, reverse this uh, channel uh, or, or leave it on reverse it, it does just the opposite of what I want which is if I do uh, right uh, it, it, it turns towards the boom and uh, left uh, rudder now you have the arm uh, the servo arm turning uh, towards the front which is opposite of what I want so we're going to go back on the uh, computer uh, press uh, uh, click on the reverse for uh, channel 4 which is the uh, uh, servo and that's what will be and things are just working properly here as you can see the next thing uh, that we are going to uh, uh, work with will be uh, the limits now these uh, limits default to 85 on the left and 85 on the right um, uh, what we're going to do we're actually going to decrease this at this point so you actually have to press this uh, rudder uh, endpoint uh, the, the, the box and then click on the tab here and we are going to decre decrease the number. I'm going to decrease it down to 40. And, uh, and and the reason that I'm doing this is that I really don't know what the number will be once I install the uh, servo rod. I, I don't want to uh, put myself in a situation where I um, end up uh, burning the servo out. So I'd rather you know, start at a low number and then increase it. And that's what we are going uh, to do. For those of you using a helicopter with a tail belt transmission, this will be a great time to adjust the tail belt tension as desired before proceeding to the next step. The next step is to adjust the tail rod uh, length using the links. Our goal for adjusting the length of the tail rod is so that when the tail servo arm is centered at 90 degrees like we did earlier or basically at neutral we end up with the uh, tail uh, blades at a little bit of pitch against the torque 
of the uh, main rotor. I know that the spirit manual calls for setting up the tail rod length so that you end up with zero pitch here on the uh, tail. Uh, however, uh, that is uh, um, uh, the reason why the spirit manual calls for this uh, zero degrees is because it, it is much uh, simpler for uh, 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 new people coming into the hobby uh, to set up the tail bell, uh, tail blades at the zero pitch, but um, the the fact is that the the tail will perform optimally when there is a little bit of pitch against main rotor torque when the tail servo is at ninety degrees uh, neutral. And as a side benefit. Uh, for most helicopter designs uh, nowadays, when you set up the uh, tail blade pitch with a little bit of a pitch against a main rotor torque at the neutral, you generally end up with very uh, even left and right uh, travels on the uh, slider. So as you can see here, uh, I have the uh, servos uh, uh, sub trim uh, so the box is checked which means that the servos should be at, uh, uh, at 90 degrees neutral and I adjusted the uh, tail uh, rod so that I ended up with a slight uh, pitch uh, against uh, the tail rotor torque so see the, uh, so the blades they're not uh, at zero degrees to each other uh, pitch uh, that, so they, there's a slight pitch against the uh, tail rotor uh, I mean a main rotor torque and for the endpoints we'll go back here so we have the uh, limits and as you can see uh, here I ended up uh, let's see rudder endpoint I ended up with 149 for the left 145 for the right and uh, and that's pretty uh, uh, pretty good that that's very very even and um, uh, let's see if I uh, let's take this out so I'm gonna turn my uh, uh, broader uh, stick okay like uh, so this will be left and there is a uh, you know, slight gap so that's good and here to the right that's a uh, there's a little wiggle so we're not uh, uh, exactly at the at the end points but uh, we're very very close so uh, no binding and I'm very very happy with these numbers